Days of Service, sponsored by Duval Motor Company. Right now, thousands of high school seniors in our area are choosing where they're going to go to college next year. It's a truly exciting time for families, but then the reality of paying for school starts to set in. In this week's Stories of Service, we share how a Marine veteran in Jacksonville hopes to lessen that burden for some students. Last year, Charlie Griffin and his daughter Carly started a scholarship fund worth $10,000 for students who want to attend HBCUs in Northeast Florida. I said, well, Carly, it's got to be better this year than it was last year. And so therefore, we decided to up the ante. This year, First Coast Community Development is offering 50 different $1,000 scholarships for high school seniors as well as undergrads at HBCUs across the country pursuing a degree in a STEM field. We really want to make sure that we have people who look like us, who are thinking like us, and who are dedicated to helping the black community and just making the community come together as a whole. Application qualifications are available on their website, but a key point to the scholarship is prior community service. I just think that's important to be invested in the community that you're going to live in or the community that you're currently living in and do something that you can truly be remembered for in your community because you never know who you're going to touch. Charlie touches the community every week when he uses his retirement checks to pay for meals for the homeless in Jacksonville. The Griffins hope this money launches the next generation of leaders. We want to be in a position to put others into the community and make a difference. I'm so grateful that we're able to do this for another year, and I'm so grateful that there are so many eager students who are just a bit younger than me, but still have that drive to really want to make a difference. The deadline to apply for the scholarship is May 1st, and we have information on how to apply within this story on our website. And if you have a story of service that you would like us to profile, send us an email. The address is storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com.